Hello everyone, welcome to uh, quarantine videos which I have no clue what to record. So, um, as you may know, I am an art designer or whatever you want to call it, but I completed art craft design graphic communication at A level and I managed to get A star uh, which was 100% of the grades. I got 100%, who knows how. Today I'm going to be showcasing you my first two books which is the first books for the coursework and then the other books which are like the exam work and stuff. I can show you that in a later video but this is just the first two books that I created to showcase all of my work for my first submission. So this was all the first year stuff and then the second year stuff is in a separate book. So if you guys want to see my year 13 artwork then I'm going to showcase it here right now. So uh, let's jump into the book. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this book. I haven't gone through this one. This was like my first one and then this is the second one and then there's like um, many other books there which were for the exam. So this was my personal investigation section which we got to choose whatever we want. You have to start off with a big essay um, researching about artists and what your project is going to be about. I chose the theme of manipulation. So I was like looking at like Photoshop manipulation because I was doing art craft design so I could like um, make 3D things, do digital work because it had a design element. So these are my artist studies. Uh, I know lots of these are quite in depth compared to what they're expected to do. But you know, I did find it fun researching and writing. It's just like pages of visuals to fill up the book. Um, this one is a paper cut. So I like cut this out of paper and then painted a little background on watercolor. That was just like some little experiments that we did. Um, over here is some ideas of the underworld because that's what I was basing it off of. Some ideas, like little sketches of weird creative things that I could like edit. Um, and then I just like came up with mind maps of different like mythical creatures. And I quite like the idea of making a Cerberus, which is a three headed dog. They put that in Harry Potter and stuff. This is made out of like every single dot. There's just lots of sketches basing around the concept of this. This was a um, like a concept of making something out of stones. So I went and did that and uh, that is here. So this is just like a small experiment. These all stones are then placed into lava gel, which is a special medium. This is a photo shoot I did when I climbed into a waterfall in Wales. I then used that to like edit some cool pictures. Uh, just for experiments, which I thought was fun. Here's some photos that I took at the zoo and I drew over to try and give like this weird mythical look. Some more experiments, um, which I did. So this is in the first year, all of this stuff for the first book, which was moderated. This is some digital work, which goes in. So all of this is like leading up to um, a final result in it. So this was a big painting. Uh, which I ended up doing. So this is like um, the size right here. So it's this big thing and it's painted onto that, which is kind of massive. So it's taller than me. This was the smaller version, which I think I like more. And then this was like gold foiled and painted, which was worked out all right. Um, then I did some more photos and editing. So I photographed this. I kind of like cropped the whiskers out when I was blurring it, which is not good. Um, this one is one of my personal favorite photographs that I've ever taken. It's um, really cool. I like all the colors in it. Um, here are some manipulation tests. If you don't know what that is, basically I get the photograph and edit it and stuff. And then you get a different version. Um, and then here's some like drawings. I think I drew these with my, my left hand or something uh, just for a bit of fun. This one was a fun little experiment of drawing a phoenix. I then like painted it and stuff, added some drips and stuff like that. Uh, then I evaluated it. I did try some digital arts of animals. So all of this is just like working and testing different mediums um, of like doing digital art for the first time really. And um, trying stuff like that, which I thought was interesting to do. Here is me coming up with the map because I had to like create my own landscape and stuff. Um, this is just like the first book. There's quite a lot of random bits and bobs like stuck in it. So I could try and get as many marks as possible. Because um, I'm a graphic designer, I also use a 3D software. So I went and 3D sculpted this whole mountain, uh, which took like five or six hours. So I sculpted each bit, then painted it. And um, it's like my own mountain, which I have created myself, which it kind of looks pretty realistic, I'd say, um, which is quite cool. That was done through Cinema 4D. 
I then started doing some photo bashing where I got like my photo of a leopard, my photo of a wolves and stuff, and then started to composite it into a cool background, use some inspiration. But I have to draw everything myself, obviously, because this is an exam. So everything has to be done myself. Here's some more pictures of that sculpture that I did earlier. I then went on a little trip to um to find some snakes because I wanted to include some snakes in my work. So surprisingly, my neighbor has some snakes. Um, we, we got to see them feed the snake. You probably don't want to see that. And then here's the process of me actually 3D sculpting a snake just because um, I thought that would be fun. Uh, snakes are cool. So I 3D sculpted it and made it. And this is what the snake looks like in the end. I think that it looks um, quite a bit similar. I'm not type sure what type of snake it is, but it's 3D and I sculpted it out of fur. Um, so it's needle felting. So this is my first book. This is probably gonna be a long video. So if you like watching long videos, sure. So this was the end result of my Photoshop manipulation. We have my leopard, my 3D sculpted mountains, my custom hand drawn castle, my photographed background and my photographed sky, all composited. This was some like little dog I found in the street and uh, we went into Wales and found a cave. So I thought I would mix the two together. And we got some funny results. Uh, then I framed this in some cool box frame, put that in a frame, put this in a frame, just so I could display it all nicely. Evaluated it so I could see where I was going, what I was using this for. Then started looking more into manipulation, what things I could use, like crystals, did some line work, did some sketches. Um, quite like sketching. Uh, so this was like done out of wax. This one's just some terrible pen work. Uh, this is an artist study into Vincent van Gogh because we did need traditional artists in our book still and obviously meant to be studying them. So I chose this one just because I really wanted to draw like all these little paint splodges. This is quite satisfying to do if anyone wants to go and do that. Uh, then I started like looking at my own style and doing like blocked work and stuff, which I still do, which is kind of funny. Um, and then there's some more research some um an artist and then this is what i designed on the computer which is like this graffiti styled cat which i think works pretty cool um so that was based off my um little one that i took in the zoo and then i made that out of it which is cool um i was then looking into this which is tiny shards of glass which i then covered in a canvas um so i like completely coated myself in this glass stuff which is quite cool more sketches, more sketches. You're probably gonna be questioning, why is there so much random stuff? It Don't worry, it's leading up. We, we were tasked with many strange things. This is an etching I did of myself. So basically like scratch away into plastic and then etch it. I did some little koi fish. I did lots of etchings. This is one with drawings on. This one's quite cool. Um, so these all etchings that we did. I did a lot of etchings. Um, this one has a phoenix. This one's like sliced up. This one's quite fun to do. This was like inspired by Vex, if you know who he is. I'm sure you guys know who he is if you're watching this. Um, some drawings, ideas, face shapes. <laughs> These are quite funny. That's just all the face shapes of the characters from Disney, uh, which is interesting. Looking into some digital work, because um, I quite liked digital stuff. I then actually made this based off of it. It's like got all of this acrylic poured stuff, which I thought was cool. So I did this, this, and then I turned it into a big version as well. Maybe I'll keep that for a separate video if you want to see all my final crazy pieces. Today's just kind of like looking at the sketchbook, but all of this stuff was just like from my exam. We got self portraits, big sculptures, big paintings, and stuff like that. Uh, you do have to include the process and explain everything. There was the result, that's what she looks like, that's what this is, all these like crystals and bubbles. Um, there's the evaluation for it, here's some more sketches, feedback from the class, um, research into sculpting artists because that's what I then started to do for the second book, research into some of my favourite designers and stuff like that because I thought that would be fun. Cause is when I stumbled across him, my most favourite designer currently, is so cool. Um, and then I was just looking at like how to sculpt things, the ways, processes, and all that snaz. Um, then I came up with like this concept of making this three-headed dog and I thought it would be really fun to do. So I actually ended up going and sculpting this whole thing myself. So here's the process. We got this, 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 and this. 
This guy is actually located up here, which I sculpted. So it is quite fragile, but there it is. I also sculpted this, but if you want to see how I sculpted this, you can go and check out a complete different video. This was my final exam piece that I did within the exam, and um, this is what it looks like. So if you want to go check that out, go check the rest of the things in the description. So this is still my first book, and I have... Look how many books there are. I should probably be quicker. Uh, but you know, this is fun. There's some more sketches of like what I wanted the final idea to be And then this like placed into context some different angle shots with some sketches behind it And then these are all the angles of what I had created Then you got to go and do an evaluation again. So that was the first book Time to go into the second book and then these ones are for the exam. So this was just like the first year stuff which counts um which is exciting. So now I had to choose all of these things and choose one bit and then like develop it and make the idea more interesting. So I was still looking at like sculptures, airbrushes. Uh, that's my girlfriend's name. I don't think she ever knew that I did that. But if you're watching this right now, uh, congratulations. Everyone now sees that I made a sense of, of that. Great. <laughs> uh, here's me using airbrushing for the first time. Never done it before. Thought it'd be a bit interesting. And uh, I guess it was a bit interesting. I, I didn't really know what I was doing. There's some stencils. They're quite um, faded lines. This was using like an airbrush pen. There's like a little charcoal sketch, some funny mixed media. This again was airbrushing using like the silhouette heads, which I made. This one is quite cool. This was like wax and stuff mixed with the airbrushing. This one's just like paint, but like scratched away to make some abstract shapes, which um, kind of looks quite interesting. Here's research into clothing. I'm quite into fashion, so I started to design my own clothes. Uh, just because I thought that would be fun. I like designing clothes and stuff, so I started to do that. This one actually worked out really well somehow. I just like scraped some paint and stuff, and it, it kind of like works out. Um, and then I started looking into streetwear design and fashion brands, making my own ideas, like mixing off-white and stuff with it to make my own... Um, thing which I think worked quite well in the end just like researching it all um, these are some of the things I made I made this little pattern um, I made this pattern which is quite similar just like different colors that was like coming up with like different ideas I'm pretty sure Off-White then used a do not cross caution type tape like a couple what months after I made this design Off-White literally like used the, the caution stuff which is kind of funny that I came up with it and then they used it as well uh, Cause clothing, some self-portraits which I did digitally so this was a digital portrait of myself which I drew in Photoshop Here's some like a little mood board I made, um, concepts of clothes, some bags I did um, using the patterns I designed. I also designed some shoes. Um, I like shoes, so I designed these, drew this sketch, wrote some Greek words. And this was another like a design I did with like the lepers and stuff, some custom vans, which I did. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, then I like 3D and uh, screen printed some clothes. And then like ironed it on. So this is what the actual clothing looks like. I actually have this. I wear it quite a bit and I made it myself. Uh, that one worked quite cool. So I used this and like drew around it and stuff to make that. And um, this was like the process of how I like transferred the materials. Um, what I used, what fabric and stuff. More research into like off-white, the printing process. Um, and then I had to photo shoot it. So I did like this really cool photo where I stay on this chair and then... I like angle it to make it look like I'm falling and then I edit it away and then there's no chair there So it looks like I'm flying and then I coated this in a million shards of glass just because you know um, A million shards of glass is cool. I then made some accessories started making them floating around Got some cool shoes got some cool necklace that I also made and did that that's what was coated in the glass I packaged up the clothing nicely and stuff like that and then this is what the glass piece looks like um so it actually like shines and reflects in it it's in there if you guys want to see it let me know down below and then you have to go and do a final evaluation so this was the first section of the book if you guys want to go and see my other books um then be sure to let me know so this was like the first section if you want to see my exam books then i will go and let you know but this was 100 percent graded as um 100 on everything so i got an a star so i got 100 everything which is quite interesting so there you go there's my book